So I just wanted to show you my updates to my worn winch system that I put on my 2020 Euro uh, Gear Up Geo. Um, I've got a, so you can see a worn 3,500 pound winch. And what I've done is I've taken a 316 inch plate, had it cut, and then custom fabricated some stuff to hold, basically some brackets and mounts to hold it steady so it doesn't move left and right. It's mounted to a bar. Inside there is a connector rod here with some more square seal tubing that inserts and just plugs in place. This goes to the back. This part here is the uh, from Euro uh, dealership. This is the accessory uh, mount for like bike racks and stuff. So this has all been reinforced. Um, the reason I used this piece here, which is separate, I made all this stuff from this way on. I've tried different variations of making one of these but I don't have a CNC uh, cutter or plasma table. And every other way I've tried, you cannot beat this setup. The guys that built this, I guess it's Caliber builds these for Euro. I mean, they did a great job uh, building this, uh, this crossbar. But the only thing I didn't like was one was the cost of shipping from Caliber to Canada was just insane. And the other thing was that the, the disconnecting um, extension bar and the winch flag I felt was a little bit too floppy. So I built my own. And here's the key. This connects over to here and this I've just kind of temporarily made a piece it's very temporary In the next few days I'm gonna make some modifications to it this isn't attached for strength this is to keep the the uh, unit from doing this while I'm riding so it's it's solid there's no flopping around this here is the strongest part on the frame that I could think of that I could get to um, but I'm gonna be modifying and making a new adapter piece for this. In the meantime, the other thing that I'm gonna do, is I've got my trailer wiring in. I haven't towed, I don't intend to tow yet till the warranty's up, but I've got my wiring set up. So I've got the hitch plugged into the back. Um, but this here, I find if you're going to tow with this thing, it's a little bit, it's a little bit warbly back and forth. You can see it do a fair bit of moving. So if you're wondering what this extra long bolt is for, I'm in the process of, I'm going to build the weld of a piece that goes from here. It clamps on to that part of the chassis or the frame for the sidecar. It's going to have to go somewhere here and here, and it'll come diagonally and connect up to here. And then that should stop the lateral sway. Um, hopefully my angles are good here. As you can see how it travels all the way up. Way up. Now the biggest worry that I had is airflow to that cylinder head on that side. Oh, here's something else I fabricated too. I had a few Tour Tech boxes kicking around from other bikes I've either sold or crashed. And uh, so I built this frame, subframe as well, to hold up um, this box. Um, I'll be working on the top box soon, but not right away. Um, to get the winch solenoid in, I'll post pictures of it. It's all under the seat. And what's interesting is the original solenoid that came with the um, 
with the winch package. No, it's not in there. I guess I binned it. Original solenoid cracked out. So I bought another one on uh, Amazon for maybe 40 bucks. And it plugged and played pretty good. I'll stitch that into the uh, into the video when I get a chance. But yeah, um, installed some some uh, worn winch rope and built this plate. Um, works like a hot damn. So yeah, just uh, post any questions or comments you want. This is still a work in progress, but. Um, just thought I'd show it to you. Oh, one last thing, the switch. So I made this bracket, I gotta paint it up. It's the bent piece of uh, steel bar and I just uh, tack welded to reinforce the bend. And then the worn um, bar clamp that came with it. One, there was no room for it. Two, I thought it was kind of cheesy. So. I took the uh, bar clamp extension arm and just uh, stripped all the paint off and then took this tack welded it together. So if you're looking for ideas for a switch, that's what I did. And I put it on the left side, so in case I need to, you know, give it some gas when I'm stuck. Mounted it right here. And then I'll still reach my high beams. Okay, let me know what you think.